Hello friends, this is me Mohammed Kamran and welcome to my channel Kim Animax. In this video tutorial, I have the View Extreme software and I'm going to create a simple realistic coconut tree scene with some water and mountain. First of all, I'm going to take water just to create scene and I have created this scene you can see in the main camera window and as well I can come from here by clicking the preview render so you can see I have created the scene but now I need a depth of the sea for that purpose I'm just going to select the ground and take the ground to the downside just just for giving the depth in the sea now it's a deep sea like uh, it's look like in deep sea Okay, it's, uh, it's good for me, okay. Now, uh, you can set the sunlight as well, from right to left, or you can play with the direction. It's up to you what kind of a direction you want. Uh, I'm going to take a preview render as well, once again. Okay, this, uh, it looks good, it looks good. Okay, so my next step is uh, about to take the mountain and I would like to create mountain from here in the toolbox. I'm going to select simple high, standard high field terrain and terrain is called the mountain in the software. It's a big in size so what I'm going to do is just select and take the scale down. The scale down decrease the size of the mountain. So I have just decreased the size but still, oh sorry it's a preview, I'm going to take to my main camera view, the same like main camera. Well it's a, uh, it gives some nice look in the main camera but still I need to check this out, I need to figure this out and I need to adjust in the scene everything I'm going to see in the main camera, whatever I'm changing and whatever I'm doing in the viewports, everything. I'm actually observing in the main camera view and uh, I'm trying to adjust in the scene some more scale down and some more giving height need to keep the height in the mountain and uh, just take a move tool and adjust it here and once again I will come to the main camera okay and take the quick render now I can see it's it's good. Uh, this movement, this uh, place is good. I'm going to select my mountain and just applying the material. So let's go to the load material library and uh, find out your favorite material. There are so many materials like grass, grass variations, and rock and grass. Everything, whatever you like for the rocks, for the planted grass, and everything. I'm just going to take simple grass. So well, now you can see the grass is applied here and uh, just uh, you can see the condition of mountain but it's empty as i told you i'm going to use the coconut trees so go to the paint eco global system and just select the option of tree click here and select your favorite tree it's coconut tree i wanted to do this so just selected my coconut tree populate populate is like the painting you can paint your favorite trees like this. So I'm just uh, painting these trees uh, everywhere. So you can see in the preview render or in the main camera, you can see there are trees, but it's still some place are empty. So I'm going to add some more, paint some more. And uh, well, let's see. Oh my God, it's <laughs> some, the extra trees are here so I'm going to take the razor tool same thing the razor there it is just erase tool and erase all the extra trees here it is all the extra amount of trees which is present still some of the, some trees are extra and still and uh, yeah you can see this here so i'm just uh, raising some more well that's fine uh, this is just fine 
well uh, you can see in the main camera preview render and this mountain is filled with coconut trees <laughs> wow take a single tree from here still I'm going to choose coconut tree a single tree and I'm going to place this tree in front of the camera scale down and I'm just placing some giving scale down and some rotations some positions everything you will have to play in the viewports by zoom in or zoom out I scroll your trackball of mouse uh, for zoom in and zoom out then I'm going to rotate and uh, suppose I'm just placing this here Again, taking and taking the trees, or you can duplicate this by Ctrl C and Ctrl V as well. Again, I'm taking the trees, placing in front of the camera. It is just uh, just uh, to fulfill the scene because I was feeling something empty in the scene, so I'm just fulfilling the scene with some trees, some more trees. Uh, so now I'm just adjusting here. Okay. So and uh, another tree, take a duplicate. Same process, select, scale down and rotate. Just place, then I'm going to rotate this. Okay. Rotate and make uh, a suitable position give it a suitable position I think it's enough but still I am feeling my sky is empty so I'm going to come go to the atmosphere editor go to the cloud and add some cloud because my sky was empty so I'm going to add some clouds whatever you want and you can play with the settings like altitude and ambient lighting and density this one is ambient lighting Good. I think it's enough press ok so you can see there are clouds are added as well I think this scene is uh, looks good and I don't want to add something more in it so I'm just going to take out the final render and press the final internally render and turn to screen save the coconut tree name save ok after that I'm going to give the size size of my frame is 19201080 is HD size and just simply I'm going to take the render well now uh, you can see there's a beautiful render output uh, of the elastic coconut tree scene with some water and some mountain we have created this uh, and already I have taken the render and I have already saved this render so what's my next step uh, uh, what is what will be my next step I am just going to save this uh, from another place you can give any format I am going to give PNG format so here is the PNG for me right now. Save. Okay. I'm just going to close the render window. And now I'm going to change the atmosphere of this scene. Scene will be the same, but the atmosphere will be changed. How? I will take, I will select the sunlight and just I'm going to create this atmosphere like sunset. Evening time when the day is going to be over and the night is going to be started. It's kind of a evening time, sunset time. So now I have placed sun in front of the scene, so you can see in the main camera uh, there is a sun set, it looks like an evening scene. For that purpose I am going to I'm going to go in the atmosphere editor by clicking here, oh so sorry, I click right click, go to the sun and it's the size of sun. Whenever you increase this, so you can see in the main camera preview render, the size is increasing. The size of sun is increasing. 
but I have the two options uh, the size of sun and the size of corona let's see uh, what is corona uh, first I will adjust the sun I think it's uh, it looks good now on this uh, position corona is like the glow of the ages sun ages glow if I will decrease the corona so my sun will be sharp you can see this and if I will increase so it will be glow like feather or like smoke well I think it's enough I'm just going to take the final render as soon as possible giving the name it's a coconut tree so I'm going to keep coconut tree sun save and the same size Well, fine. I hope you like this tutorial. And uh, if you really like this tutorial, so I would like to request please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you so much. Goodbye.